Hello, I'm Raylene Asberg and I am here today to give you some trainer tips and tools when it comes to increasing the effectiveness of your online learning delivery. Hi, this is Raylene Osberg, and I am here today to show you some effective tools that you can use, simple changes you can make to increase the effectiveness of your online learning delivery. Hello, I'm Raylene Osberg and I'm here today to give you tips that are gonna help you increase the effectiveness of your online delivery. <laughs> Did you notice the differences there? Which one felt better for you? Which one was more engaging for you? What were some of the things that you noticed? Yeah, it's easier when I'm looking at the camera, but yet when you're at Zoom, aren't you looking down at the people? They don't feel like you're looking at them. You want to look at them. So online delivery, visual tip number one. Look at the camera. Look at your people. So what is the trick to that? Well, one thing you can do is put a little picture of a friend behind the camera. And then it'll turn out where you can look and talk to your friend and it's going to feel like you're talking to them. Also, did you notice the camera angle? It makes a big difference if you have the camera coming down just a little bit at your face. So that's less distracting than looking up. It also helps you look better too. Don't you think I look a little better? So pretty? <laughs> no. Okay, another thing. When I go to think, do you know what I often do? I do this. At least 10 years ago, when I first started doing online delivery, my friend, Michonne Rogers, she was helping me early on when I first did the online challenging behavior series. And she said, Raylene, what's on the ceiling up there? <laughs> so I started doing more where I take and I look at one spot down in the bottom when I'm thinking. So it's kind of like a dancer that turns around and they're always looking at the same spot when they come around. That's how they keep their balance as they're doing their pirouettes. You want to have a place that you look when you're thinking and then you look right back at the camera and here is a lot less distracting than here. <laughs> right? Do you see the difference? So stick around for a couple more tips and tools. And what you want to do is pick one that you're going to work on the next time. What is it that you're going to work on to improve your online delivery? We all have some way that we can grow. What is yours? Online visual delivery tip number two, keep the background and your clothing simple. Then they can focus on your very important message. Watch this. Do you love my scarf? <laughs> I have this beautiful scarf, right? Oh, it's so gorgeous. Not really for online delivery. So watch what happens to the light. Watch what happens to me getting blurry, me getting more focused. So all the time, the camera's trying to figure out, am I focusing here? Am I focusing here? And so it's really distracting for people. So even though in person, I love my color for the online delivery. I'm going to keep it simple and they'll listen to your message rather than paying attention to the distracting things in the environment. I have a very important message to send you. I have a very important message to tell you. Visual tip number three, let them see you. You are beautiful. You are wonderful. You should not be in darkness. You have important things to say. In order to be heard, they need to be able to see your expressions and to really feel you. Don't let that beautiful personality be lost in darkness. Light yourself up. Visual tip number four. Use pictures in your PowerPoint rather than words. You know your content. Take a picture that tells you what's going to come next, that really helps tell your story, and then show that picture. Here's an example of one that I used from the toddler class. Now, afterward, I asked, what is something that you really got out of this? 
and somebody tells me, like that picture of the toddler who's who's pulling on the leg of the adult, you know they're not doing it on purpose. When you see that picture, you just feel like, oh, they really are in true pain. And I go, yeah, see, that one picture really helped sell my message. I didn't have to say a lot of words then or have a lot of words on the screen. But also, do you want them to pay attention to words on the screen where they're trying to read? Because reading takes a certain kind of focus. Or do you want them to actually hear your message, what you're saying? Then you need to say it. That's where they're really, truly going to get it. But they can't see you and read at the same time. So get those long bits of words off your PowerPoint and give you visual messages that help you go to the next step. The very last tip, tip number five for delivering online little visual tips to help you improve your effectiveness. Number five is use the pause. What? Yes, the pause. <laughs> Those of you who know me know I talk, 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 talk. And often what you'll see is I jump right into the next slide, right into the next concept. People's brains need time to catch up, but also your Zoom mode of operation, if that's what you use or any other software you're using, it's going to take it a minute before it gets that PowerPoint to everybody, especially those in rural areas with not as much bandwidth. So you want to make sure, finish your PowerPoint um, slide, finish your point, pause, move to the next slide, and then start your next thought. So make sure when you're getting ready to deliver your education online that you're taking the time to make it visually accessible for all. Look at the camera, invite your friends in with you. Keep the background simple. Light yourself up and use pictures so that they can really get it and then use that pause. That'll help their brain shift and it'll help Zoom or your other software you're using to deliver online learning also shift along with you and participants. Thank you so much for joining me today. Keep connecting with other trainers. Keep sharing tips, tools, and resources with each other because we truly are more together. Thanks, you guys, thriving together in the mentor program, Elsa, Matt, and the others who are really working to bring you great resources and keep us all connected as trainers. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Over and out. Mm -hmm.